Hi, and thanks for your question. My name is Matheus Kostan, and I am a veterinary specializing swine health at the University of Saskatchewan. A question sometimes I hear is, what do you do when pigs get sick? When we have a pig that is sick, truly what we try to do is figure out why they're sick and what actions we need to take to make sure they are back on their feet and feeling better and going on with their lives. We try very hard to identify infectious agents or any other agents that could be associated with it and then we make sure we work with the farmer or the producer to figure out the best plan for that pig or that population of pigs moving forward and what can we ensure that the disease doesn't come back. So it's really important that we figure out the cause of the disease so that we can prevent it from causing further damage and from ever coming back. The first thing we do when pigs get sick is to figure out why are they sick. We're essentially interested in figuring out what is the agent behind their sickness. And what this means is that we perform a diagnostic workup. We will first try to understand what kind of disease do they have. Is this a hereditary disease where the disease is genetically inherited from their parents? Or some kind of toxicosis, for example, where exposure to a given heavy metal could be the problem. A lot of the times, though, we're dealing with infectious disease. Infectious disease are a challenge when it comes to pigs because they are susceptible to many different kinds of infectious agents, just like us humans. This could be viruses, bacteria, fungi. At the end of the day, the way we figure out what disease they have is through a combination of herd history. So essentially the same thing your doctor would ask you a bunch of questions about your past year or six months and how you've been feeling during this period. We do the same with the pigs. Next, we look at them and we investigate what kind of clinical signs they have. Are the animals coughing? Do they have diarrhea? Do they have fever? That really helps us understand how are they responding to this disease and that direct where we should go with our diagnostic investigation. And next, we collect samples for laboratory tests. Sometimes this is a nose swab, this could be fecal samples. There are many different samples we can collect to help us understand what's going on with the sick animal. Once we have identified the agent behind the disease, we design a treatment plan. This treatment plan really is a various actions that we can take to ensure that the pigs get the support needed to recover from their illness. Sometimes this also is some type of long-term plan where we want to vaccinate those pigs in cases of infectious disease to prevent future disease. Usually, our treatment plan includes medications and sometimes we use antibiotics if bacteria are involved. This is needed because we want to make sure the pigs have the support they need to recover from the infection and not suffer from disease anymore. Recently, there has been a lot of attention and a lot of research done towards alternatives to, from, to antibiotics, including, for example, probiotics. So we use a wide variety of tools to be able to control disease, but not just antibiotics, because antibiotics are only functional against bacteria. Sometimes we can use anti-inflammatories to help the pigs fight a fever and eat more and drink more water. Therefore, they will recover faster. Sometimes baby piglets may need electrolytes if they are dehydrated. So we give them that support so that they can fight off the infection, fight off the disease, and get back on their feet and go on. It also involves husbandry. We care about animal welfare and we want to improve the well-being of those animals. So sometimes all we need to do is address temperature fluctuations. We know that here in the prairies, during the fall and spring, we have very significant temperature fluctuations between morning and afternoon or day and night. So can we help the pigs with that? Should we have a fan turn on or should we try to increase the temperature at night? That really helps. What about water quality? Do we need to look at water quality so that they drink more water and perhaps that is the main problem with their disease? Or should we prov provide some kind of enrichment? Are they getting bored and do we just need to mentally stimulate these animals? Or maybe we just need to remove a aggressive pig from the pen and this aggressive pig is bullying the other pigs, not allowing them to eat. At the end of the day, when we have a pig that is sick, truly what we try to do is figure out why they're sick and what actions we need to take to make sure they are back on their feet and feeling better and going on with their lives. We try very hard to identify infectious agents or any other agents that could be associated with it. And then we make sure we work with the farmer or the producer to figure out the best plan for that pig or that population of pigs 
moving forward? And what can we ensure that the disease doesn't come back? So it's really important that we figure out the cause of the disease so that we can prevent it from causing further damage and from ever coming back. Thank you for listening.